Hi guys! I'm back with another tutorial and today it is going to be about this beautiful design. Well, beautiful. I hope it is beautiful because it's mine. <laughs> and it's actually a mesh up of the two existing designs. This bracelet is called Prague and I named it after the capital of my country and this bracelet has been uh, designed by mixing two different designs these two this is Kumihimo by Lumi Mama and this is Kerubin by myself and if you do one sequence of Kumehimo and one sequence of Kerubin, that's how it is called, you will end up with this design and that is called Prague. It's very interesting how meshing up to, how mixing two different uh, designs by alternating the sequences could result in something quite different from each of these. And now I'm going to show you how to make it. This is the catalog card. I will zoom it out a little bit. So, uh, here you can see that these two first rows are just the beginning of the bracelet to start it in a neat way. But what matters is what is written between these two stars. This is the beginning and this is the end of the sequence. And this is a Kerubin design and this is Kumihimo design. Actually, if you repeat these two lines, these two rows in your bracelet, you will end up with Kerubin, which is this one. If you just continue doing these two lines, you will end up with Kumehimo, which is this one. And if you do one sequence of Kerubin and one sequence of Kumehimo, you will end up with this. And now I'm going to show you how. So we need to start with standard 6 and I'm going to use the same colors like here on the card so that you are not confused with colors. So I need standard 6 loop setup made of cylindrical black bands. So let me make it like this. Now I'm going to the other side and after adding one more border band to this side I will have the standard six done, like so. So this is the standard six and in the first line I need to take a band and pull it under the middle two and pick them up. What I suggest to do, how to do it, the easiest way is to put the new band over here and just move these two over it and pull it with your thumb like this under under those two bands and to have the new band sit in a proper position all you need to do is to pull it down like this just pull it it will stick out anyway because it's bigger but the bottom of this new pink band should be beneath the hook. It shouldn't stay on the top, but it should be here. So this is the correct position of what you should have uh, on your hook now. So that was the row number one. And now row number two. I need to take another black and pull under four, pick up one and three. So I will pull under four and pick up one and three. 
Number one is this black and number three is the pink. So I just pull on the four and pick up those two that are sticking out. It's very easy to recognize them, like so. And now I'm going to the other side and repeat it. So I take a black, pull on the four and pick up number three number one and then close. So now I have finished the beginning. Row number two is finished and now I'm here in the beginning of the real sequence. So the first two lines are going to be the real sequence of Carolyn. So I'm going to take white and I need to pull it under the middle four and pick up all four loops. So this is how I'm going to do that. So those four loops are pink, two blacks and pink. These four. So I will just put the new band over here and I will start moving these four loops over the new band one by one like this you see and then I just pull it down so that it sits in the correct position the bottom of the new band should be beneath the hook while all these four loops are still on the hook so that was here the row number three now I'm going to continue by adding black and black band to each side and I need to pull a black under these five and pick up one and three which is white and the first black and the same from here like this and pick up the white and the border band and then close. So this and this was the carobin pattern, carobin sequence. Now I'm going to continue with the kumehimo sequence and I need to take a fuchsia band and pull it just under the middle two as written here. Just middle two and again I put it over here I take these two and cross it over the fuchsia band then I just pull it like so and when I have it pulled under these two loops I will just divide it to both sides and pull it down like so so that it sits under the hook. When you have done this all you need to do is to pull a band under five and pick up one and four. <clears throat> so if you pull under these five loops, this is one and four is actually <clears throat> that fuchsia band we just pulled through the center. And it is sticking out so you will find it very easy. So this is pulled under five. Now I pick up number four, number one and close. And then I'm going to do the same from here. I take the black, pull under five and pick up number four and number one and then close. So these two lines were actually the Kumehimo pattern, Kumehimo sequence. So don't forget, you need to alternate. You need to do one of these, one of these. Don't make a mistake over here, otherwise this design will be uh, destroyed. Well, maybe you come up with something even prettier. 
So this is what you need to do. This is what you need to keep on repeating until your bracelet's long enough. And then in the end you just add one more band. You loop it through all the loops on your hook and then you <coughs> add a C-clip, excuse me, to it. Sadly, I can't show you how it looks in real when it is finished because I sold this bracelet, but you can imagine very easily according to this picture and the pictures I showed you in the beginning how it looks in real. It looks the best when you use uh, limited edition bands that are rounded in diameter and they uh, look much, much neater than the square bands or flat bands. But of course, some of you may like working with the flat bands and they may create even neater rendition of the Prague bracelet than I did here with limited edition. It's up to you. So, that's it. This is Prague, designed by me. And I will be very happy if you don't forget to either tag me to your posts on the Instagram or to hashtag me and the name of the bracelet to your renditions, to your pictures that you post anywhere in the internet. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you very soon at my next tutorial. Goodbye!